We are getting closer and closer to the end of 2024, which means that 2025 is right around the corner, and we already know all of the January 1st Star Wars sets that are coming out that day. However, we also do have some small rumors for March 1st, such as a buildable Jango Fett helmet, and also a um, buildable Chopper droid, which is very exciting. However, I would like to talk about today is the 10th anniversary of The Force Awakens next year, and potentially subsets that we could see be remade um, for the anniversary celebration by LEGO. I don't expect any more than one or two anniversary sets next year, especially given the fact that LEGO will hopefully be focusing on the bigger anniversary, which is the Revenge of the Sith 20th anniversary. But let me know your thoughts and let's jump into all of the predictions. And the first set here that I would love to see be remade next year is going to be the First Order Troop Transporter. This one retailed for, I believe, $100 back in 2015, so that would be about $130 to $140 now. It features some great minifigures, such as the first version of Captain Phasma, and two First Order Flame Troopers, and two First Order Stormtroopers, along with two Resistance Troopers. This set had 800 pieces, and I think it was just a very solid playset slash display set, and this would go very well with your First Order armies. I think this would also pair very nicely with a First Order battle pack if they chose to release that i mean i personally love all of the first order ship designs i think they were all great especially the fact um especially the last jedi ones but the first force awakens also had some great ship designs as well and vehicle designs but um this is a great set um i think lego could make it about 110 to 120 dollars give it some more um play features hopefully and maybe even be able to fit more troopers inside we can get a new captain phasma along with a new version of the first order stormtroopers and perhaps even some more resistance troopers but personally i loved this set as a kid and I really do hope that LEGO chooses to remake it next year. And next up here is going to be a First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter. I love the design of this ship. I think the black and the red on the TIE Fighter makes it very well. And even though we did see an Imperial TIE Fighter this summer in the X-Wing and TIE Fighter combo pack set, I think this would make for a great addition to that um, on what LEGO already has on shelves. I think that this design is great. I think the fact that um, the we, this hasn't been remade is really criminal. I think LEGO really should have put another one out maybe for um, the La Rise of Skywalker or for The Last Jedi. But this one released back in 2015. I love the design of the ship, and overall, I just think that it's long overdue from LEGO. We could potentially even see it as an Ultimate Collector Series set, but there's not that big of a chance, um, even if I would like to see it at $240 for the May 1st UCS set. That would be really cool to see, but I do hope that LEGO does choose to go with something Revenge of the Sith based for the May 1st Ultimate Collector Series set, especially just because it would sell a lot better and it would make, give room for more um, prequel sets to be made in the and future. next up here is the most liked sequel trilogy set, and this is going to be the Rise of Skywalker Kylo Ren's shuttle. This one retailed for $130 back in 2019, and it retired back in 2021, I believe, and this set is just great. It's screen accurate pretty much all the way. It has great many figures. It had a Kylo Ren, it had some Imperial Troopers, it had some Knights of Ren, and it had some tr um, regular um, generic Stormtroopers. Um, now, this one is just a great set. I really love the aesthetic of it. I think that Lego could totally remake this as the flagship summer set next year as an anniversary-based set. Um, but base it off of the um, the Force Awakens because the time the Lego did make a Force Awakens um, Kylo Ren shuttle that one was a flop that set was totally inaccurate and so I think it's long overdue from Lego to make a, another screen accurate version of the Force Awakens shuttle we could see a new updated non cracked Kylo Ren helmet um, minifigure that would be really cool to see as well and I just love the design of the ship I do own the 2016 version and I think it's a fantastic set it has even a small interior alongside a pretty large cockpit area so this is a solid set now I think we could either see this as a $160, $170 play set, or we could end up seeing this one as a $400 Ultimate Collector Series set in October. I think a lot of people have also been asking for that. Um, I think it's a really big chance. It could be the probably the only UCS set that we will ever see based off of the sequel trilogy. Simply the fact that it's the best looking set. I think we really there's no other ship that looks quite like it. It has a great feature where you could um, extend the wings and put them sideways and all that jazz. I think this is just a great um, idea for LEGO to eventually make this as an Ultimate Collector Series series set hopefully sometime um next year maybe for a different anniversary sometime in the um, coming years because every two or three years we will see an anniversary so lego could definitely use that to make an ultimate collector series Kylo Ren shuttle and i think a lot of people would buy it because it's still quite relevant especially if he does return in some form of media um maybe a first order based tv show but let me know your thoughts if you'd like to see a Kylo Ren ucs um shuttle down in the comment section below 
The next set I could see potentially being remade is going to be the 75099 Rays Speeder. Now this one only got one set over the last 10 years and this was a $25, $193 piece of speeder build. This was sort of supposed to be the new Luke's Land Speeder. Sadly this never took off for Lego. This set was found on shelves for many years after its initial retirement and overall this set was a giant flop. And they could remake this as a small $40 to $50 diorama set. I think they could definitely start making more cheaper dioramas, especially given the fact that not a lot of people have the 80 to a hundred dollars um that most dioramas are nowadays but i really would like to see a 40 dollar desert um build with maybe an updated version of the speeder a new ray minifigure and a perhaps a desert crook or something like that um just to go along with it make it a little more worthwhile your price and maybe a small desert hut build or a small desert house to go along with it sort of fill up that price tag i really would like to see that i think that's a decent idea on at least in my opinion and i think lego has the potential to do that next year maybe in the may first wave i don't imagine us getting any summer sets with um with the speeder but other than that i am excited to see what they would end up making if they do choose to make race speeder again and next up is going to be the 75363 263 dual on star killer base i think this one also has potential to be remade as a diorama i really would like to see this one probably even more than a um race speeder simply because it has a great aesthetic the vibe with the um the fallen trees all the broken ones and i believe this is also um just a very iconic scene from the sequel trilogy one of the more iconic duels and overall with that lava and all that stuff going around it would make for a great display piece for any sequel trilogy collector i think this is a missed opportunity by lego for not making it into a bigger play set they made it into a 20 dollars set that really just was very forgotten by a lot of people but overall it's long overdue for a new version of this set i really do like the design of it and i would like to see a new diorama version of it lego really missed out by making a very small set they could have made it bigger but overall i would like to see a new version of it now this last set is going to be something that I don't really see having a big chance of being remade, but it will be a first order battle pack. Now we've got quite a few of these over the years, but this is a great Force, Force Awakens version. Um, you get a three, you get three first order troopers, one being a flame trooper and two being a storm troopers, um, along with an officer. Now this was a decent battle pack. I think it retailed for fifteen dollars, along with a pretty good speeder build there. So this was a good set. I think Lego really missed out by not making any more first order battle packs all the way since twenty nineteen. I believe. Leave. and so it's been a good five six years now since we've seen any more first order on shelves and it's because they weren't popular but i think that the sequels are starting to grow on people and so that people will likely hopefully hopefully they will buy the sets if lego does choose to make a 20 dollars battle pack maybe in the summer or in june of 2025 based off of the force awakens um, armies it would go very well with a first order transporter like i mentioned earlier i think that'd go really well hand in hand with a battle pack you could army build and then put all your spare troopers inside of the transporters but anyways maybe Maybe a lot of this is just wishful thinking, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys watching today's video, and let me know your predictions for 2025 with Revenge of the Sith sets and anniversary sets for The Force Awakens. Let me know all that down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, and I'll catch you on the next one. Be sure to have a great rest of your day, and goodbye.